Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another video. Today I'm gonna talk about learning programming languages for hacking and how they are necessary for hacking. So a lot of people believe that programming languages are not actually necessary for hacking and you can just get by without uh, learning them and without knowing how they work. But in my opinion, uh, if you don't know how the program is built, then you can't really hack it properly. Because if you find a couple of vulnerabilities, it doesn't really mean that you are doing the maximum work that you can. And if you actually know how things work on computers, then you can actually learn uh, hacking the proper way and you can just get everything that you need while you are doing your assessment or penetration test or doing bug bounty or whatever and get most of the process that you are uh, working on. So I'm going to give you the, a few programming, programming languages that I think that are necessary for you to learn. The first one being the C programming language. And uh, I'm going to start with C because I believe this is the programming language that you should learn uh, first, firstly before uh, any other language. Uh, so a lot of people say that you should learn uh, easy languages like Python uh, because you will just learn the basics and you can just script. But uh, this is not my opinion, because if you learn Python, you will not actually understand how programming works. You will just understand how to create a couple of variables and then make a net network request, which I don't believe is uh, enough for you to be for you to know. And I believe that you should dig deeper. So the, uh, the way I would recommend for you to learn the C programming language is by reading this book. Uh, C Programming Language 2nd Edition uh, by Brian W. Uh, Kernigan um, and uh, uh, Dennis uh, M. Rith Ritchie, I believe. I hope I pronounced their names correctly. Um, and this is a really, really good book. And despite it being really old, uh, it was released on 1988. Uh, I believe that it is uh, one of the best uh, sources to learn C from, if not the best one because it is super, super, uh, is, it is diving super duper deep into the topics that you need to not learn and you will uh, not just uh, stay on, for example, learning algorithms, but you will just understand how computers operate in general and how everything uh, works under the hood. So uh, I use C programming language in a lot of my projects, even in proof of concepts, because C is, super fast, blazingly fast, uh, I, I believe like the fastest programming language if we exclude assembly. Um, and uh, this book is not a, a really big book, it's around 272 pages, uh, but uh, I would recommend for you to read it because it has some great exercises and for exercises you can, you can just google KNR answers and then you can just open a github repo there are a lot of github repos with answers and if we click on one of the exercises we can uh, wait for it to load and let's see it's some exercise that is Im implementing integer to float conversion um uh, or uh, it is implementing integer to flow integer to array maybe i think it's integer to array I'm sorry, uh, but yeah, so uh, this programming language is the best one to, for you to learn by far, in my opinion, um, and it is going to be difficult for beginners, but once you just uh, like uh, start reading the book and actually understanding things, spending around like one or two hours per, uh, per exercise, like the first exercises are going to be a lot uh, difficult for you uh, but if you move on then they will become way easier and then you will just start understanding how computers work under the hood and once you finish the C programming language uh, if you think that you're going to be learning something easier that's not the case because in my opinion after learning C you should di dive even deeper into computers and read the book programming from the ground up which is a book about assembly and you should learn assembly language after learning C. Uh, it is not actually necessary if you're doing bug bounty or for example, uh, penetration testing. You, there is not, it is not really necessary for you to know 
but in my opinion you should still learn it if you are reverse engineer it, it is even more uh, applicable for you because you're gonna be dealing with assembly all the time and this book it just teaches you even uh, more of the low level stuff uh, about computers and about how they operate and i think that learning assembly after learning c is just a really good uh, moving point because you will understand some things about computers and assembly is just going to fix everything for you this book is not really big uh, as well it's around 300 pages so you can just finish these two books in around a month or two it really depends on how fast you complete these exercises on this book and uh, this book also has a couple of exercises i'm not sure why it moved here but uh, it is not really i think you're gonna you're gonna spend a little bit more time on the c program language book because it has a lot of exercises and a lot of things that you have to go through but if you go through them you will just be really good with c and you will be able to program anything after you read these two books you have all of the necessary knowledge to move on to other languages that you are uh, gonna be needing for your uh, career so if you're doing bug bounty pen testing or something you have to learn uh, two other languages the first one being for example javascript because javascript you will be dealing with javascript all the time if i for example open the debugger here and then i go to the debugger on uh, firefox right we can see all of the pages data here and if i expand something here uh, these are just the images let's see this is the book these are also images um let's actually go to another website here and then the debugger and uh, let's see w3 schools it is actually well you can see here some javascript but uh, i wanted to make a point like here is a lot of minified javascript I wanted to make a point that JavaScript is a really good moving point because uh, JavaScript is just a really, really good language for you to know if you're doing web pen testing and dealing with web applications. Even with mobile applications, web is good too. Uh, but for mobile applications, you should really learn Java after learning C if you are dealing only with uh, mobile applications. Um, but yeah, so after learning C and assembly, you should learn JavaScript because you're going to be dealing with JavaScript a lot. And uh, my recommendation is for you to learn from this Budoda website. And it provides you with all of the material for, train, uh, for learning for free. So if you go to the learn JavaScript course, um, I have already gone through this. Uh, but you can just see that this, uh, this uh, JavaScript course is really good. Uh, Keep in mind that after some of these exercises, if I go to objects here, you can see that you are not able to submit or run problems. So just create your own test files and then run them on your computer and you can learn that way. You are still being given all of the learning material for free. Uh, that's what I like about this website is that uh, only to run the problems, you have to pay for a membership and membership is, in my opinion, really expensive here. Uh, but you can actually learn everything here for free if you just use your own computer and run your own test cases you can just ask ChatGPT to generate you some um, and after learning javascript you should learn uh, a programming language like python or go uh, in my opinion go is a little bit better because um, it introduces um, it is being compiled and not interpreted language and by interpreted language i mean that python is being run by uh, running python 3 main.py for example and go is just compiled into main file for example which is elf executable on linux um but i'm not gonna talk about that you're gonna learn that in these courses so it really depends on uh what you want python is good for scripting go is good for scripting too it's good for uh it is used on a lot of backend uh, nowadays a lot of uh hiring if you are going to like programming job uh go is a necessity necessity to know to a lot of these jobs so a lot of companies are now using go because go is really really good um and you can uh, do like proof of, uh, stuff like proof of concept with go as well so i would recommend for you to learn go but it's really your option it's not you can learn any language you can learn ruby you can learn anything 
Uh, it really doesn't matter as long as you know something to create real proof of concepts with because you are not gonna necessarily uh, build all of your proof of concepts with C uh, because it is quite difficult and uh, with Go or Python it's much easier. So I like Go more than Python, it really depends up to a person uh, because at the end of the day uh, all of them are just different syntaxes and after learning C and assembly you will pick up the syntaxes really really easily because you will already know everything that you need to know about how programming languages work and you will just have to uh, know that okay so instead of printf you need to use uh, println for go for example uh, so yeah um, it really isn't that big of a deal to uh, learn a new programming language you can just go through this course in like one day it's just 20 hours it's more like six hours i would say because let's see uh javascript it's 25 hours uh, i believe i finished it in like seven hours or six hours it really uh, isn't difficult to learn these languages uh, quite fast um and you will just pick up the uh, pick up the uh, like usage of them um of course every language has its own um has its own unique it is unique by its own and uh, has its own like different ways to implement things but you get the idea if you learn c and assembly you can learn any programming language uh, very very easily and yeah i believe that's all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you in the next one please subscribe and like and goodbye